So let's continue to focus on our drums and let's pay attention to the 808 because that 808 is a crucial part of the production. So let's isolate that by itself and find the spot where it is in the mix. And there it is, it's primarily in this section. Uh, it's definitely over here. Okay, so we'll solo that. Now, just like we used distortion for the kick, I'm gonna use distortion with the 808, but uh, I'm gonna use a different distortion box. This one is from Plugin Alliance, it's called Vertical VSM3. The reason I like it is because it does give you second and third harmonic distortion. And you can choose, like for example, um, I can choose to add second harmonic distortion to just the lows, and then I can choose to add a third harmonic distortion just to the mids. So I'll, I'll show you what that sounds like. So we're auditioning the second harmonic distortion module, which is right here. And we can audition the third harmonic module, which is right here. Okay. So there's a preset that I use, which is 808, which is basically using um, second harmonic distortion on the lows and third harmonic distortion on the mids. So we'll, we can isolate that. Here it is. So you get that grunginess from this one and you get the sub from that one. So we'll bypass it and then bring it in. So just like the lo-fi, what it does to the 808, it, uh, it brings it forward in the mix, but in a very subtle way. Uh, it gives it more, more attitude, more body to it. Okay, so that's that. Uh, let's see what else we can use. Let's go ahead and get rid of the EQ. Let's also enhance the sub lows. So for this, I'm gonna use the uh, mag EQ. There it is. Uh, so there's a sub channel right here. And you can just enhance the sub channel uh, using the gain knob. So let's crank it up and see how loud loud it needs to be. Here we go. Okay, now there is a trick on the metering that we can do. And for this, I'm gonna use a plugin called Insight isotope insight and this allows us to have a frequency uh, readout of what's going on which is this right here so this kind of helps us judge like how how much bass the bass should be let's listen to it real quick okay we can also slow this down so let's go to um spectrum analyzer there it is Make it three seconds. So without the um, distortion and without the EQ, this is what the original 808 sounded like. So it's peaking somewhere around here. Now let's listen to it with the distortion and with the sub turned up on the EQ. So it fits a little better with the kick. Um, let's also use a side chain kick uh, trigger. So if you're doing EDM production, you know what a side chain is where you take the kick drum and you uh, allow it to duck um, other instruments. Well, you can do that between the kick and the 808 so that when the kick comes through, the 808 ducks just a little bit and uh, it creates this nice relationship there. So you can use any compressor. Uh, one of the ones that I like to use is called the Omnipressor, which is by Eventide. So let's find it. There it is. Okay, now I already have a preset for this that I usually use. And um, we'll create a sidechain from the kick. We'll just use Buzz 1 right click name kick sidechain okay crank it up all the way there it is and we'll set the key input to the same thing so kick sidechain and the settings here is basically a, a 1.6 um, ratio of the um, compressor and we only want to duck a little bit of it we don't want to like you know turn the sub all the way down but let's let's see where our settings are currently
So I like it because when with when we have the sidechain compression on the um, on the sub, it's actually bringing up the level of the sub right after the kick. So again, you can use any compressor that you want, but that's the one that I like to use for this specific purpose. And lastly, I'm going to use one more thing, which is going to be another distortion box. And uh, notice how we really haven't been using compression up to this point. And uh, we're going to use another distortion box, and this is called the BX Saturator V2. And the reason I like to use this is because I can separate the distortion that's going to happen down here from the high mid. Similar to this, but this one gives you a little bit more control. So we can solo, let's solo um, what's going on here with the high mid and then the high or the mid low and the mid high. Check it out. Okay, and that just expands the sub. It's like really loud because I'm cranking up this uh, XL, which is a distortion knob basically. Without it, it sounds like this. 